Well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Rebuild here coming to do our first rebuild of the channel. And it's a bang. The rebuild is the North American rebuild. And these are the rules. They're simple. You can only use free. You can use free agents from any country. And we can only buy players from the MLS or players that their nationality is English or can, I'm sorry, is American or Canadian. As you see here, we're doing a few scouts. I mean, we're in third division, and we're going to make our way up. And I know what you might be asking. How do you have so much money in third division? Basically, I sold the entire team because none of them were uh, English or um uh, I'm sorry, none of them were American or Canadian. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, it's been very busy. We got Larea here. Uh, this he's a um, Canadian uh, right back from uh, Toronto FC. Uh, we bought Hassel for ourselves, and yeah, we basically just sold all of these players, which they're dead wood to us because they're not really important. We bought Jesus Ferreira, which again he's not uh, American or Canadian, uh, but uh, he's in the MLS, so we can buy him. Uh, and here you can just see that we sold. Uh, so many players. We got Conrad De La Fuente to lead that left wing position. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We loaned out this Youth Academy product that we got, which is pretty sick. And yeah, we bought Clark, which is an insane talent. Uh, he's amazing. And yeah, this is the end of the season. Uh, we unfortunately are not in the playoffs. Uh, we're seventh, which is kind of sad. But apart from that, I'd say that it's been a very successful year because we've had players growing, uh, which is the most important thing for me. Sometimes in rebuilds, what I like to do is that I like to have seasons where players just grow because they're not ready for the next uh, category of, in this case, English football. And as you can see, Jesus Ferreira has been leading the team. But yeah, hopefully next season we um, will go to the championship which that'll be good for us because uh this is where players start to grow little by little uh happy to see de la fuente growing i really was i really didn't know what would happen with him because um he's a player that doesn't have too much potential i mean 80 is a decent amount of potential but he doesn't have too much potential as you can see dozzle here he's not um uh american or canadian but since he was at the club we can stay with him for a few seasons then we will sell him uh, Clark has also been growing, not much, but it's good to see that our players are growing. Lade has grown a point. I don't think he's going to grow too much. Um, we'll probably later on in the future get another right back because, yeah, he's not the um, he's not the most he's not the best uh, right back. I guess you could say this is more though. This is a youth academy product that we found. He doesn't have too much potential, but I think we can make it work. So for season number two, here is what we've done. We've not done much. We've bought a uh, testament. Uh, we've loaned. We got him for free, which is actually not that bad. Uh, for the second player, we have Tolkien here. Uh, not bad. The left back. We were searching for a left back, and we sold uh him, which is pretty good, honestly. Uh, we were again. We're just getting rid of. A lot of players who are not really interesting. We got this guy. He's not too good, though. Uh, Castro does look half decent. Uh, and Boyd, who is for free, he, he looks quite decent. He has a bit of potential. So let's see if we can uh, do something with him. Uh, Donson here. Um, we just got a, a lot of free agents because maybe one of these could actually make it work. But the main person that we bought is Trusty. Hopefully he can stay till the end and grow a lot. So here we have Bennett which is, um, he's probably our best Youth Academy player right now, apart from Moore, because Moore has already a lot of rating. Like, he, he's grown 17 points this. Of course, he was a CDM, and we changed him to a Cam. But that was interesting. Uh, so for season number three, again, uh, for season two, we weren't able to go up. I know it's a bit of a bummer. But for season number three, we bought, we got Anderson. Okay? We loaned Anderson out. We loaned Bennett out, okay? Uh, I know. It's Bennett, but we had to loan him out. Uh, we we sold Hassel. He wasn't growing in. I, we found another goalkeeper that we had in mind, which you'll see later. But, yeah.
We got George Bello here as well, which he is, we, we got another left back because Tolkien was not doing too well. He did grow a bit, but he was not important at all. He didn't do anything. And as you can see, we're finally in the playoffs. And this is the man that we've been talking to about, the goalkeeper. This is why we don't have Hassel anymore. This man is an absolute beast. Uh, he's um, he's he has ob- he obviously has potential. He gives assist also. Uh, but Clark has been our main man with assist. Moore has also been very very good. But obviously Jesus Ferreira has been on another level. Conrad de la Fuente is amazing. Uh, he's grown so much this year, and I just hope that he can keep on with the growth. Morgan here, which is another youth academy player. He's um he's been growing a lot, and I'm I'm quite interested to see what Morgan could actually do because he he grew as you can see five points this season, which that's pretty interesting for me honestly. And he's a quick player, so him and Trusty could potentially lead the entire team. Anyways, to get up to the first division against Brentford, we win. Let's go. And now the final. The final against Blackburn Rovers. To get us to first division. Uh, we lost. Yeah. It's a bit of a bummer. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry that last season I said that we didn't go up. We did. Uh, but anyways, uh, season number four. I'm sorry. Uh, there's a bit of... Um, so, in season number two, I, we went up to the championship, and this season we're, we were not able to go up. So, for this season, we're just loaning out players. As you see, we sold Dozzle to buy Tyler Adams, which, oh, Lord, what a player Tyler Adams is. He is absolutely insane, if I'm completely honest. So, yeah, uh, as you can see, at the end of the season, we obviously top it. With Tyler Adams, there's no way that with this team, we were not going to be able to top it. Uh, but, yeah, these are the stats. Like, with an 80, 87 Raider player, uh, there was no way that we would not go. Uh, De La Fuente is still growing. Clark is still growing like a beast. Uh, Trusty is still growing. At a young, I don't know how he scored, honestly. I'm probably going to get rid of him next season. But uh, So, for Season 5... Uh, we sell Testament, and mostly because we didn't have enough money to buy your boy, Western McKenney. This guy is going to help us so much this season. And, yeah, hopefully he does. As you can see here, uh, we managed to be the top six, which, if I'm not wrong, that's Europa League football for next season. But God, the year, oh, Lord. This goalkeeper is so good, and he, he's going to carry the team fully. The stats were pretty much the same. Players don't really change, but yeah. Yes, boys. Guess where we're at. Look where we're at. Europa League final. After just one season of being in the Prem, the next season... We got to the Europa League final with this team. We're going to sim it. Obviously, we can't play it. So, can we win our first silverware? No, we can't. Uh, this is a bit stressful. We can't win anything anymore. Uh, I'll show you the stats here. I don't know how we didn't win with uh, Ferreira being this good. Uh, it's actually kind of insane. But, hey, I think next season uh, we're going to have to battle uh, for the Prem. Uh, and for the Champions League, honestly. Uh, but, yeah. So, for this season, really, uh, we just bought Serginho Dest. Uh, he, we needed to get rid of Larlea. And we finished first in the Prem. Yeah, uh, nothing too weird about that. These are the stats, but, again, they're not really changing. Our players are growing. So, the next season, which is season number eight, could this be our last season? Could it be? We buy... Alfonso Davies, what a player he is. He's uh, probably the best Canadian of all time or something like that. But, yeah, we're going to see if Alfonso Davies, we can change him to a center mid because Morgan has not been growing too much. I'm, I'm a center back, I'm sorry. Morgan has not been growing too much. But, yeah, uh, we end up not doing that. We buy our Richards, okay? And this is 
this is what we do, really. We put Bello as the center back. But for this game, unfortunately, we're going to put Richards because we need that We need that center back. He's actually pretty quick so, as well. So let's see the first leg. What do we got? A 1-1. One, one. Okay, I'll take it. It's not the best result, but it's not the worst either. Game number two in home to take us to the Champions League final. Let's go. Let's go. Ferreira does it. And let's go to Champions League. Here we are, lads. After so much time, we're here. After eight seasons, we have managed. We have managed to go to the Champions League final against Football Club Barcelona, of course. People may say it's the best club in the world. I don't think so. But let's not talk about that. Let's focus on Ipswich and what they've done with their team. What Ipswich have done. This team has gone from having potentially a whole, like, such a bad team, honestly. And we've brought so many good players. Uh, we have, this is my, the goalkeeper's my best use academy ever. 96 rated. And we start off the game. Ben Tarkour passes it to Malin. Malin back to Ben Tarkour. And Ben Tarkour does not do well there. And now careful. McKenny has it. Moore has it. Can we go on the counterattack? Ah. Uh, Oh, Chad, Tyler Adams takes the ball. Ferreira. Oh, I spot De La Fuente. De La Fuente. Go on. De La Fuente. What a rocket for the cha- to score in the Champions League final against his former club. Oh, my God. And we're leading. What a, first of all, what a pass from Ferreira. And second of all, what a shot from De La Fuente. He takes a touch and he says, let's shoot. And he makes an absolute rocket of a goal. This this player, he he didn't have much potential. And look where he's at now. Careful. Now Barcelona have it. Munir Al Haddadi passes it on to Usman Dembele. We take the ball. Alfonso Davies to Tyler Adams. Clark, could you find Ferreira? We find De La Fuente again. Oh, oh, oh. This could be 2 0 from De La Fuente. De- oh, oh, my God. What a shot from De La Fuente. And the goalkeeper is forced to make a big move and save it. And it's a corner now. Oh, my God. What a shot. Insane. Corner's taken from Moore. Moore passes it into Tyler Adams. Tyler Adams, give it to Ferreira. Ferreira, what are you going to do? What are you doing, Ferreira? Uh, he's controlling the ball. Okay, not horrible. Ah, we get the ball all the way. And careful. Here's Munir. Oh, we got the ball, though. Tyler Adams. Clark. Ferreira. Ferreira. Let's try this. Oh. Ferreira, what have you done? This is potentially one of my best goals in FIFA 21. What is this? What type of goal is this? Oh, that was beautiful. And it's 2-0 already. It's so weak. I mean, with this team, to be fair, and I don't think we're going to concede anything with this team. Here we go. More. Oh, more. Oh, more. Oh, buddy. Oh, more. Oh, Oh, that would have been so clean. The dribbling was class. And there's ha- there has to be a save. And what are we going to do, guys? Let's put Bennett in. Right mid. Let's see how he plays. Careful. Dembele. I don't know what Gauthier has done there. Dembele. We make a sliding challenge. Another... Oh, no. That's a red card and a pen. We already had a yellow card. Yep. That's a red card. Trusty is gone. Our captain. Um, this is a bit of an issue. I mean, it is minute 90. Uh, I hope nothing bad happens. This is probably going to be the, one of the last kicks of the game. But can Gauthier make a big move and save it? I, he might not be the biggest, but I think he can. Against Sansu Fati! Gauthier is, I mean, 96 rated. This guy is, he, he he's unbelievable. I can't believe what Gauthier has just done. And this, he's kept the clean sheet in the Champions League final. Against Prime and Sufati, probably. And there we go. We get it, lads. I'm so happy. This took so much time to make. But it's finally out. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, yeah, it's been it's been very fun, honestly. If there's a bit of lack in footage, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm trying to make um, uh, the quality better. But tell me what you guys want. Uh, higher quality videos and less videos or less quality vi- videos and more videos. You guys decide. I, I I don't I really don't care. I love making both, but I'm gonna leave you with this amazing footage. Bye. You should grow feathers.